In this video we will talk about the franchise group uh, because it is on my screener and uh, you can see expected return over 110% if uh, these numbers uh, are correct uh, and it is uh, price to sales 1, uh, Kager 1.1 are not a high number, so definitely. Here you can see how it uh, looks like uh, on a chart uh, and uh, green line uh, quite close to share price, uh, uh, but something happened uh, in uh, 2020 and 2019. Uh, they tremendously uh, grow their revenue and we can expect $88 uh, in uh, the end of uh, 2022 and 97 in two years. And uh, definitely it is interesting. Uh, they have extremely boring presentation as it is why I will show it uh, super quick. Uh, subsidiaries, uh, uh, the Vitamin Shop, uh, American Freight, uh, Pet Supplies Plus, uh, Buddies uh, uh, and uh, Badcock and more. Plus Sylvan but they have only 38 uh, million dollars uh, in revenue, it is uh, not much. Here you can see franchise locations uh, and uh, total uh, stores uh, and uh, you can see that uh, Pet Supplies Plus uh, quite heavy franchise and it is awesome. Uh, but from the other side uh, they have uh, the Vitamin Chappé uh, with only one franchise location. EBITDA by business uh, quite diversified, uh, Vitamin Shop uh, 29%, American Freight 20%, Pet Supplies 20%, Badcock 24%. Uh, value based acquisitions, uh, best in class uh, franchise platform. Uh, a little bit boring from my point of view, uh, but I really like uh, uh, that they have focus on uh, compensation to owners, and it is awesome. They have uh, franchising momentum, uh, and uh, you can see that uh, ongoing revenue stream grow in theory. On this slide you can see Pet Supplies Plus, uh, definitely they have some opportunity to grow over the country. No other franchiser has more than 110 stories in the United States and they have opportunity to grow. It is definitely awesome. Uh, plus uh, in uh, Pet Supplies we know that uh, it is a lot of uh, recurrent revenue. In Vitamin Shop uh, they can uh, grow in uh, private brands uh, and you can see that uh, private brands grew to 26% of total sales in 2021. Badcock Home Furniture quite interesting uh, and uh, they definitely can grow to other states. American um, Freight and I definitely like that uh, they have a value price point. Uh, if uh, we will have a high amount of uh, in inflation in uh, 2022 and uh, other years, uh, they can uh, raise their prices and it will be absolutely okay for customers. Here you can see historical pro forma financial uh, summary and uh, revenue growing, everything is okay. And uh, you can see that they are growing from all uh, franchise uh, companies. What I don't uh, actually like is that uh, we can see quite fast uh, share dilution, uh, but from the other side um, maybe it will be better to think about it uh, like a new company from uh, 2020 because they bought uh, the vitamin shop. To make a better prediction now we need uh, guidance. Uh, franchise group uh, is uh, rephrasing its uh, previously announced financial outlook for fiscal year 2022 of revenue of approximately 4.45 billion net income of approximately 180 million or 4.2 per share. Now we have to count Kager and it is uh, simple, we just divide 4.4 uh, to 3.2 and uh, we'll get 36% uh, uh, Kager. And I think we have to uh, lower uh, our price to sales expected number to maybe 0.5 uh, and Kager 1.3. 
And you can see that uh, it is quite uh, good on 2020 to 2022 numbers. And I think uh, we will see something like this. Uh, definitely it is not a 100% uh, opportunity, but anyway we can expect 25% uh, in uh, this year and 65% uh, uh, in two years. Uh, what do you think about uh, FRG stock? Uh, please write down uh, buy or sell in the comment section down below.